And then the UN put out the second report, which is on what happened after October 7th. They go from October 7th to December. And that's what Israel did. And, or what was unfolding in, uh, in Gaza. So what's my take on that? I think Israel had three aims. I said this from the beginning, and I haven't seen any reason to revise my judgment. I made many errors, I know that, and I'm not afraid to acknowledge them. But the basic picture I think I got right. I said Israel had three aims. Number one was clearly revenge, uh, bloodlust. I think the revenge and bloodlust was compounded by a um, outrage that these untermenschen, these subhumans in Gaza, would dare do that to the ubermenschen, the uh, outrage and indignation. I think that was a compounding element to the sheer bloodlust for revenge. And it's clear they got that. They achieved that aim. Uh, they continue each day, each day. The Israelis are creatures of uh, opportunity. And they know now that uh, since the elevation of Kamala Harris, all of the headlines have moved away from Gaza and to the presidential election. If you look at, say, the New York Times today, even Lebanon Gaza, very low. This has been very apparent to me yeah, as I followed these things. Very low, very low. There were, of course, there's North Carolina, Helen, mm -hmm. Kamala Harris, the debate, Trump, and so forth. And then, so they, the Israelis know um, the salience of Gaza has been significantly reduced in our media. And whatever attention is paid to that corner of the world, it's paid now to Lebanon and Iran. And so if you follow the news, every day there's a massacre in Gaza. 20 people here, 50 people here, there, literally 100 people there. Uh, they are going to exact their revenge down to the last person.